There they were a few years ago, invited to perform at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. A heady moment and a dream realized for Zora, Afghanistan's first all-women's orchestra. From those so thrilled to be there then, a message for you now. Listen to them. Remember these smiles and sounds because this is the Afghanistan they want you to know. Not this one. When the Taliban took over this summer, the cacophony of violence and chaos silenced all the sweet notes, especially here. The famed music school, built in 2010 as a place of promise for those emerging from life under the Taliban's grip. For young women in particular, it was a refuge. Now the girls are gone. Taliban fighters infest those colorful halls. It's become a militia base, armed men lurking in treasured spaces where music education once meant wings. Today, the performance of this young musician clearly demonstrated how easily music can be understood by every single man and woman of this planet. Building, then nurturing the school, was Dr. Ahmed Sarma's purpose in life. This orchestra for me always was as a symbol of freedom, symbol of emancipation of women. He is now, though, stuck, looking on from afar, in Australia when we spoke. Got there in the summer for medical treatment, unable to go back since he spends days and nights checking on his students. We've been in the full in the process of uh, getting our students to a safety and security. I advise them to delete all the messages, deactivate their Facebooks, uh, do not connect with their friends uh, outside Afghanistan. Some have gone into hiding. Others, like conductor Zarifa Adiba, had left a few years earlier to go to university abroad. Her friends, family back in Afghanistan, while she sits in Kyrgyzstan and it haunts. Their text messages are hard to take. I don't have quite good words to describe how these days and nights are passing. I suppose there's a difference between existing and living. Exactly, like everything is just like, like a movie, like a horror movie that is going on, you know? So I see my friends, um, they are breaking their instruments. They're, they're breaking it before Taliban get to them, you know? So for them, I don't think that music is at the moment their comfort, but it's more of a risk for them. Music once filled the mountains and valleys and streets and souls of Afghans. Decades ago, when the Taliban took control, they banned it. And now that they're back in charge, public performances are once more outlawed. The Afghan folk singer Fawad and Darby was pulled from his home and killed by the Taliban not long ago. Imagine the chill that sends to the young women of Zora, alternately afraid of and cherishing the power of music. Music has always been my friend, has always been my comfort, even especially in times like this that I feel hopeless, I feel tired, I feel scared. As conductor Zarifa was a leader, working with, learning with, the likes of pianist Maram Ati. She moved to the music school as a teen, worked with Dr. Sarmast for years, touring with Zora. Then a few days before Kabul fell, she left for university in Michigan to study piano. Her heart clearly still at home and with friends now asking for help and advice. I just told them that don't tell anyone, don't 
uh, play if someone of the neighbor could hear a piano playing or something, just don't touch it. And be careful. She sadly urges those back in Afghanistan not to fight too hard to save the music. Fighting now is not a good idea. If someone just stood up and fight for music, you cannot do that right now. But I think all of this 20 years of hard work, it cannot go to waste like that. So maybe in the future, I, I believe that um, someone or people were just start uh, from the beginning again. That is for the future. This moment is for surviving. Dr. Sarmast has been helping his students as best as he possibly can. A few, like Mara, managed to leave a few days before the Taliban takeover. Getting others out now is exhausting and stressful. And for the women, dreams waver. Between trying to hold the memory of the togetherness they once had, the bold performances of traditional songs, and hoping to somewhere, someday, let the music's power speak again. Every note talks to me and tells me that Zaifa don't give up. Zaifa, play more, play louder. At the same time that my violin is peaceful, comforting, and beautiful, at the same time, it is so powerful and so strong and so rebellious, you know? Zarifa's new life includes this new violin. Beautiful. Bought with help from supporters. She was just starting to get acquainted with it. This is going to be my weapon, you know? Taliban are, go, are, are having their weapon, but this is my weapon. I will talk to you guys with this. The Taliban scattered and silenced the orchestra, but the spirit of Zora lives, and the women promise they will be heard again. <laughs>